my song with chastisement as the Lord chastened me. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. Wisdom. Brethren, the seal of my apostleship are you in the Lord. My defense to those who would examine me is this. Do we have no authority regarding what to eat and what to drink? Do we have no authority to lead about a wife who is a sister, as the rest of the apostles, even as the brethren of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barnabas and I who have no authority to refrain from working, which soldier ever served at his own expense? who plants a vineyard and does not eat in the fruit thereof, or who shepherds a flock and does not eat from the milk of the flock. Do I speak of these things according to human nature, or does the law say the same also? For it is written the laws of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle an ox which treads out the grain. Is it for the oxen that God cares? Or does he say it altogether for our sakes? Indeed, for our sakes it was written, because he who plows ought to plow in hope, and he who threshes in hope, so that the same might partake in hope. If we have sown in you spiritual things, is it a great matter if we should reap your carnal things? If others are partakers of this authority over you, are we not evermore? Nevertheless, we have not made use of this authority, but we endure all things in order that we may cause no hindrance to the gospel of Christ. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. The Lord spoke this parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of the servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred dinar. And seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and besought him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to the Lord all that had taken place. Then this Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I gave you all the debt because you besought me. And should you not have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. 